Why don't you run the show today? I don't think I'm I've, a bit. No. I've driven you all round France. You have to be fair. And you have literally <laughs> slept in the back of that car, yeah. or you've swiped left. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Sunday morning show. Good morning, Lester. Good morning, Dan. How are morning, you? Bonjour, Bonjour, Lester. Bonjour, ça va bien, merci à toi. Exactly that. <laughs> so, as you know, as you may have seen, Lester and I have been over to France this week. What a trip! Oh, what a I loved trip. it. I absolutely loved it. And what a shame we didn't get to go yesterday. Yeah. Because we went last week. We we went over on the Saturday. Went from yeah. Portsmouth. So easy, straight into St. Marlo, a little bit of sleep on the ferry, even though Lee was snoring. snoring. Yeah, oh my God, he snores. Badly. And um, straight into St. Marlo. I feel sorry for Vicky. Yeah, I would feel so. yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Definitely feel sorry for his wife. Um, then we got a, a two hour, two and a half hour drive down to yep. uh, Benaday, uh, yep. which is where we were staying. And that was just fantastic. Absolutely. What fantastic. the drive was, I wouldn't know I was asleep. You were sleeping. <laughs> it's like you were trying to catch up on the sleep that you'd I didn't lost. get much for Lee snoring. Was it that bad? Yeah. You were, I, you were gone. So. Yeah, but I get, you get me on the sea. Even the five pints on the ferry didn't help me sleep. Oh yeah, you were slamming yeah. down. I, don't know, you, I yeah. thought you were on a bit of a mission that night. I thought, you go steady. If we oh, pick out a few waves here, you'll be... No, I was fine. Yeah, you, yeah. I, I did regret it the next day when it was about 35 degrees. It was the hottest I've ever been. But the good thing is it wasn't like, it wasn't um, humid. Like wasn't over it? here it was ridiculously humid. Over there it was just a dry heat, but hot. Got to be 30 degrees. Got to be 30 that. degrees. So that was our first course, wasn't it? And then we played... uh, Val, Val, uh, Val Quiv Quivach is how you pronounce it. Val Quiven is how you'd say it, but Val yeah. Quivach was uh, what we played. And we played a little, little fun format around there. Yeah, that was good. Um, then which, Cornwell. And then Cornwai. Cornwai. All, all that, how you say um, it. Again, beautiful golf yeah. course. Like, absolutely stunning. Just That was, that was, in, my that was in superb condition as well. Didn't play it? particularly well, but I did enjoy that course. Yeah, I was not feeling great that day. No. Because I drank yeah, and kept me up some rosé. Rubbish. So we had um, then corn white, and then the last day we, well, actually, we went and filmed, we then did. we found a little short course, little nine hole par three course, absolutely superb. I wasn't too keen to play, but you love a little bit of golf and any video opportunity. And that was at the day. And then Lee didn't enjoy that, I don't think. No, he wasn't. <laughs> Firing on all no. cylinders that, that he was, afternoon. He wasn't. was ill the night before, didn't he? He was, yeah, he yeah. was struggling. The a bit. French but cuisine didn't really. Um, well, no, I think it was no. more, I think it was more the sunstroke a little bit. I think he's just, he's gone out and not put sun cream on. No. Like, it's a proper schoolboy area. You yeah. can't do that. You can't do that. So, um, yeah, the French um, sun got him. And then we um, uh, and then we went back the next day and played uh, Le Day again. Yeah. Played a, a scramble format for that we one. Were, we had to get to time, we, we were, because we had to get back for the ferry. Yeah. So, um, but that was what a trip, what a fantastic yeah. trip. Such a shame that the thing is kind of all closed down right now with the quarantine side of things. But I got to say, yeah. I felt absolutely safe as anything being over yeah, there. Totally I thought they did an amazing job with the ferry. It's actually better than being over here, to be honest. Well, the I felt safer over seat. there yeah. than I did a, uh, have over here. Quite so, I did as well. Um, fantastic job with the ferry. Hotel, golf courses were absolutely yeah. superb um, for organising and making us feel safe. So, you know, it's just a shame we're not back yeah. over there this week. The, the beef as well over there tastes like chicken. So Lester tried. Oh. I, I went off, uh, I went off to the bathroom and left Lester to order the lunch. He, so steak he and wanted, chips. We needed so steak we and wanted chips. free steak and chips. Um, the, the young waitress came out, she was obviously French. Uh, and I said, Anglais, I'm just speaking, you know, speaking English. She's like, no, no. Like she didn't, sp basically, she spoke no English. The only French person that why, doesn't speak English. Why you would think that they would speak English to you in France is beyond me. Well, that. I mean, they learn it at school. We don't really learn it, do we? I mean, I'd like to learn. I think that's one of our faults. Well, you've got the book now. Yeah, I've got the books. Got the book. So I saw the word Fritz thinking, that's probably chips. Probably. And looked at the price, and then it said, like, it looked like filet of, but obviously I... Oh, but I didn't really read it very quickly. I just went, I sort of pointed at it and said it. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately, steak and chips over there. Oh, I should have. To be honest, I should have known when I wondered when she walked off. Didn't ask us how we wanted the beef cooked. But I just presumed that maybe in France they just have medium. Yeah. So and it came out and it was what was it? Chicken. It was chicken. 
chicken and potatoes. potatoes and veg. It was actually it was really very good. nice. Yeah, was and I'm quite, mistake. in a way, I'm quite glad that you ordered that because then we could have steak that night. That's right, yeah. Because it, it's you a bit. You can't double it's a up bit, steak. Mm, yeah. no. That would have been a mistake. That would have been a. <laughs> <laughs> relentless. Absolutely oh. relentless, aren't you? So thanks to Graham. Yeah, Graham Ruth, uh, yeah. part of the Britney Ferries Golf Britney Guest, Ferries, yeah. organising for that them. for us. Absolutely superb. Um, and we will get to do some more stuff with those guys yeah. as soon as this all lifts and we get to get, get back out there. But those vlogs yeah. will be coming out um, in the next few weeks. Next week, though. Big one next week. The Thurston. Big one. Are we allowed to reveal, like, who plays? Or, yeah, you can. Yeah. You can so, reveal, it's, so, it's... so it's me and, me and Dan take on a European tour pro. Paul. Paul. And Paul's back. Paul's back. And a full-time player, Will Farley. Will. Will's, Will's you, would have seen Will you would have seen Will. Wedges. He did the wedge video yeah. we did the other day. And, yeah, we take him on, don't we? We take him on around um, Felston. Around Felston. Well, we used to so, work. So, yeah, and beautiful oh. golf course. Um, absolutely stunning. We've got some fantastic drone footage beautiful for it day. as well. Beautiful and night we played yeah, it as well. It was just, it yeah. was just absolutely fantastic. So, um, so really, really good day there. And that will be coming See out some good next golf week. As well. Monday, can, we, can, we reveal, can we reveal how many birdies and eagles? No. Were? No, All right, okay. no there was but a there's lot. a lot. There Let's reveal a lot. there's yeah. a lot. This week we've just had the video with John Morgan. Brilliant, yeah, I've seen. I haven't. I saw it before it came out. I've seen yeah. it, but what a video. What a great bloke. By the sound of, I mean, I've never met him. I don't know the guy. I know of him. He's such but a yeah, nice guy, yeah. and I think for. He's really down to earth and to take the time to go and speak yeah. to you. And, and he, he wants to do more of us. Yeah, so he wants great. to come and do some course vlog stuff. Yeah, it'd be great, which would be fantastic. Yeah. But to. to Is it's he such more a off shame. It's, it's a bit of a. In a way, it's a bit of a sad story because hmm. he had everything there. Yeah, he was he was right there. He was a PGA Tour win a wet like he was literally it was around playoff, the corner. Wasn't he? A that. playoff from a win. Yeah, oh. and the John Deere Classic. Yeah, lost that imagine there, that. But... He could have been a he could have been a American Tour. He would tour. have won. He would have if yeah. he if he was able to carry on with his career. He would have absolutely won. And but he such a shame he, from the way he came across. He wasn't bitter about it. He was thankful for the experience and the you know. That's not John. Wouldn't and, be like that. You know, he, he just he's he's got a great opportunity now to do yeah. what he's doing with Sky Sports. And he's a great commentator. It's, it's like, fun to it's listen like to. We makes, said, isn't makes it? golf fun, you know. Like the, obviously, our dream personally when we were younger was to play golf for a living. Yeah. We, we obviously, I'm not. I mean, you're better than me, but I was never good enough to do that. I realised that early on. But doing this on YouTube and hopefully entertaining the people yeah. and playing great golf courses is as good as it gets, isn't it, for us? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Like that's the top of where we could get to. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and he's, I guess, being a commentator and. Being around yeah. the guys and yeah. being involved is as good as it gets, isn't yeah. it? So, and I just like I say, I, I when I listen to him do the commentary and things like that, yeah. I, you know, he he. he he just makes it fun. That's yeah. the way, easiest way for me to explain. It. He makes it fun, enjoyable, yeah. you know, and uh, he just does a great job. So it was great yeah. to catch up with him again after all these years when I played against him that time at Bristol yeah. and Clifton. And uh, he, like I said in the video, you know, he hasn't changed a bit. Yeah. No. Has not changed a bit. Absolutely brilliant. So you've got a question I've for got us, a question, yeah. I'm going to put my mug down. Let me take that from you. We haven't even out. mentioned that we're not in the studio. We'll they might know now. Okay, so um, we are trying to, we're obviously filming this. James is. The um, sort of head teaching professional, we'll call him that. We're given that title, Coach Jamesy. Um, he's been on. He's been on the channel as well. Yeah, he's yeah, doing yeah. an indoor lesson. We can't get in the studio. No. So we've set up. It's not. It wasn't an advertising no. ploy, but we just set up in the because pro it's shops. the only bit of space that we've got. Yeah. So this yeah, is we'll... not a Cobra themed no, show. No, no, no. They haven't paid for this show, so no, maybe we should not. send them a bill. <laughs> maybe we should. <laughs> rip it up. What you got then? So yeah. So I've got a question. Okay, um, let's have a little look. I don't know what I've done with the question. It's somewhere around from Fraser. Yeah, he wasn't he wasn't happy with you. I don't think, which he rightfully well, so, because yeah, you've ignored his question for three weeks. I haven't ignored weeks. it. I've just I keep reading it every week and then I forget to do that's, it. That's called ignoring. Yeah. <laughs> so Fraser has asked. Yeah. I'll actually read the tweet out because it's quite. It's Is quite, it a long one? No. Okay. Go on. Then. Ask your boss. Boss, yeah. Boss, yeah. I don't know who that is. But I assume that's you. Yeah, not yeah. Laura. No. A question three weeks ago about what a caddy says and what um, and does does at specific times to assist, not hinder his player. Although he promised me an answer three times. Mm. Explanation mark. Yeah. It has not been forthcoming. Okay, well now. And then he the finished time. it with regards. Regards. Well, that's nice. <laughs> So now's the time to yeah. uh, share. <laughs> we were, we were, so we were going to share what 
when we've had caddies in the past, yeah, you, what, yeah, what definitely. we would expect from a caddy. I mean, I if I decide to start, Go it's to your you. show, isn't it? No, you're, it's the your start. Show. You, start. you're the question, okay. you're far away. So, um, my last experience of having a caddy, um, I had Richard Overton, who's a member of the golf club, kindly yeah. in the Torbay Cup a couple of years ago pulled my trolley around and, and caddied for me. I didn't ask him to, but he turned up and did it, which was brilliant. Yeah. I always appreciate when people do caddy for you. Um, but it was around Churston, the course that we play the most, and I played the most, and I sort of knew what I was doing, so he was just there. I got him to help me read a few putts, because obviously my putting's a little bit dodgy, but more Suspect. for, I used him more for moral support and someone to talk to, because I had quite a good round. I finished second in the individual. Very good. But I knew what club to hit, and I knew, you know, I knew the yardages. I could play that course. We both could really, without even thinking too much. Yeah. So he was mainly there for support and to, you know, to and push call my, upon yeah. him when you need. Yeah, it. yeah. But if I was playing in a, a big event, and I've had, though Pete Lyons used to caddy for me a lot when I was trying to play, mm. and he used to give me yardages. He knew my games. I used to play a lot with him as a for, foursomes partner. Yeah. Um, and he used to t he used to know what clubs I would hit, and he would hand me clubs before I even said I want a seven iron. But he knew my game slightly better than what Rich did, I guess. Yeah. Um, but when we play, I I almost sometimes even if we're playing against each other, I might be like, "Damn, what what do you reckon?" Like what? Because I like to have a second opinion as someone that I respect and someone that I like. And you know my game probably as well as I do. Um, what about yourself? So when I um, you would have been a think, county caddy, wouldn't you? When you yeah, played on first and, team, and I'll be honest, South as West lovely Sweden. as those guys were, yeah. I think you've got to be very selective on who you're going to use to be your caddy. Yeah, hundred percent. Because they they need to know your game. It's you know it's very hard when someone offers to be your caddy to say yeah. no, um, and if they're going to come and actually pull your bag or whatever, is to you know let them just clean your clubs, do that thing, yeah. keep them away from keep them away from me, keep them away from my game because I just yeah. want to focus, focus on my yeah. own. Me caddying for Paul, or even Paul caddying for me, I mean Paul caddied for me, Paul's caddied for me at Southwest Counties Week one year when he, yeah. he'd already turned pro, and he also caddied for me at f um, the, a playoff at, f at qualifying okay. for the Open once. Yeah. And I wouldn't have wanted anybody else on the back no, no, no. because I can lean on Paul to sort of give me mm. a bit of help and and really all we're doing is bouncing ideas off each other yeah, yeah. because how would you play this, I've got it more like this. So when I've then caddied for Paul, so when I caddied for Paul at the Forest of Arden, even though we said we were going to stop talking about that, oh, yeah. we're going to carry no, on. No, you said you were talking yeah, about that. Yeah. You're going to name um, drop anymore? Like, oh, in a minute, in a minute. Um, <coughs> no, yeah, no, no, we're going to stop no, all that. No, no, right. But when I caddied for Paul in whichever event, we, it's about Paul's game. I don't. I do not interrupt Paul's game unless he asks me to. He has a course planner. I have a course planner. Yeah. He will come to me with the numbers, and I will just reassure him. I mean, yeah. we had a couple of situations at, at the Forest of Arden, and you got to remember when you're not used to using a course planner and yeah. you're used to just using a scope just to get your yardage. You you don't you. Sometimes the maths can be a bit. I'm quite jumpy, good at yardages, jumpy. aren't I? You, you will come to that in a minute. <laughs> but so Paul would come to me with his numbers as where he thinks the pin is, and I would either say, "Yeah, that's spot on," or I would. And one one start one stage, he was probably about ten or eleven yards out yeah. of where he actually got it. So I had to reassure him and go through it all with him. So, and then when it comes to putting, this is the key one, okay. because I was doing a putting lesson out um, yesterday. I was out on the putting green helping out a scratch golfer, a very good player, and we were talking about where did we think the line was. Mm. Now, he's a dire putter, so he's yeah, yeah. looking to fall in the front door all the time, yeah. whereas I'm sort of, you know, a good, I want to be sort of three or four, five inches, nine inches past the cup yeah, yeah. is really where I'm looking to be. Yeah. So my break point, my aim point, yeah, different is inside oh, yeah, yeah. of his. Yeah. So you go and try and read somebody's putt for them who, when you putt on different speeds, you've got to be so careful not to get it wrong yeah. for them, or think about it from your point of view. So yeah, when, when Paul's putting, I left Paul alone. He did his own putting, and it was only one or two times per round where he'd say, give me the line on this one, give me the line on this one. He's very technical. Funnily enough, it putting, was the only yeah. one that he really jumped on, and I asked, he asked me for a line, was the one he well, rolled in for Eagle. So what do you think then about, like, if you're a proper player, so that guy's on the European Tour, how important do you think a, a good caddy is? Like, Because I'd use some examples, like Wood's always... Generally, we had Stevie Williams on the bag, yeah. he had fluff, so he picked an experienced caddy, a, a really good caddy, what someone that would be 
what I would regard as a, a top guy who'd, who'd got that experience. Yeah. But then you have other people, you had like Lee Westwood and Darren Clark who have had their wives and girlfriends yeah. on the bag at times. You've had yeah. um, Roy McIlroy had his mate, didn't he? The one Still from has, One Direction yeah. on there, has, yeah. messing around. And how important do you think a good caddy is? Like, is it, is it the... I think it is very important, but I think it comes down to the individual. And, yeah. and a good caddy will understand that individual really well. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I've, I've played alongside people who are professional caddies and yeah, they've yeah. caddied for, and, and they, the best ones are the guys who are super relaxed, yeah. like super chilled, you know, they, they, they just take it in the stride. They're so good. And, and they, it's very, they will know that player inside out. Mm. They practice with them as in yeah. like they're standing there watching them hit balls. They're standing there watching them hit putts. So they're yeah. getting a gauge on exactly how that player But it's a living. You can, make, you can make really good money yeah, as a good caddy. So yeah, they're obviously going to take it almost as seriously as, well, as seriously as what a top yeah, player would. I mean, absolutely. Was it, I think Steve Williams one year was, he was either the, the highest, highest paid, paid sports person, sports person in New Zealand. Yeah, yeah, which is like, I mean... Yeah. Phenomenal. But, yeah, yeah. But yeah, a very good caddy is someone who who knows when to step in and knows yeah, when to yeah. back off with yeah. a player. Um, and it comes down to the different players. Yeah. You know, you, you take someone who's very laid back, or you take a Seve, who was yeah. very intense. Probably Sergio feels but a bit intense. When then he's... some caddies end up staying with a player almost the whole time. career, yeah. and then other ones they, they chop and change. They yeah. they had the one voice for say a year or two years, and then like right next. Yeah. So yeah, it's different. It's, it's just it's hard to. You know, the caddy plays, for me, the caddy plays an important part, mm. but it's always player dependent, isn't it? Yeah. Like we always say, it's Absolutely always, is. everything's player dependent, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, of course it is. Absolutely right. So hopefully that answers your question, Fraser, and I do yeah. apologise. I know this is the third attempt, but we got there in the end. Yeah. So anyway, um, if you've got any other questions that you want to send in, please do send them over and we'll, uh, we'll try best and answer. Probably you send yeah, them send to, to me. Lester. On like Twitter, Unless Instagram, you want or them a third think, time. Yeah, it won't go on to that voice. So. Yeah, so send them into but, yeah. Leicester and uh, and we'll get them answered. Obviously, we are getting a few, quite a few questions, but quite a few of them are quite complicated and complex. They're in, they're a separate. And they're another video. They're, they, we have got them on the back burner, and we've got a list of questions which are like a little bit more extreme, which we will do experiments on. Yeah, and get round to. We we've got a bit more time filming now. Haven't yeah, we, we do. Yeah. We do Monday, Tuesday now, we make videos, yeah. which is, we're more dedicated to it than Absolutely. we were rather than doing a quick video during the day or yeah. after work. So hopefully the quality and what we can do, we'll, we'll, we'll cover improve. that. But Absolutely. It, generally, if you've got a quick question, you know, we can demonstrate, we're going to have a quick test out, that would be better. But yeah, don't think we're ignoring you, but quicker questions or... Yeah, that Sunday, is Sunday, Sunday show it. snippets. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you're, uh, don't forget if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up if you like what we're seeing, and as always, stay safe, and we'll see you all next Sunday. Sunday. Thanks for watching.